What's up, my people? <laughs> Today, we're going to be installing the Qualock system on my new Can Am. This kit consists of the mount that's going to go on the handlebars, the uh, quad lock phone mount, vibration dampener, charging head, phone case, and I also got the poncho just in case. My phone is water resistant, but it doesn't hurt to have a little bit more protection. Let's get out there on a the bike and try to install this stuff. First thing first, the ram mount for the handlebars. So the mount itself is way too big to go on here. So you're gonna have to use the adapters. 127 is too big. 112 looks like it's gonna be the right size. A 1.12. And that should fit on there. And that looks good. So we take the other 112 and that's going to go on the bottom section and I'm just going to dry fit it see if it fits well just like that that looks good kit comes with a, uh, a rubber piece that you can place inside of here and that'll just help it from slipping on the uh, bar so just line the inside of that insert and we just cut it right with the edge so there's your insert now we're going to do the other section then we can trim this up a little bit So this can go back into the bottom section with the insert and put it on the handlebars where you want it. So now that we know where we're going to put this, right, you got the bracket, the insert, the rubber section, put it all together. Now there's a nut that goes on the bottom side. And then you have your screw that goes into the top. It does come with an Allen wrench. So you don't need your own tools if you don't have tools. Other side, your nut, slide it up in there. And then your bolt. Take the Allen wrench, tighten that. I like to tighten this evenly or as even as possible and then just snug it down you don't have to go super tight with this just holding an iPhone and there you go the mount is installed next thing we're gonna mount is the RAM uh, what do you call this sleeve maybe I can't remember the name of this right now I'm gonna call it the extension so the ram extension will be next just hand tighten it just to hold it in place quad lock one inch ball adapter it's going to go on the top section just going to tighten it down to hold it in place for now now to install the vibration dampener this piece has to come out so we're going to unscrew this comes with an allen wrench we're going to unscrew this quad lock from the one inch ball. We're going to set this aside. So now you're left with this piece. Now this piece has a screw already built into it. You got to go all the way through there to screw it into here. We stick the wrench in there and we screw it down. Get that good and snug. Now you have a vibration dampener to take up a lot of the vibration from the road. Comes with your wires, 
comes with a wrench and zip ties and this is your quad lock charging adapter there's been a major improvement done on this thing where the wire goes and actually locks in on the wire itself it's got like soft rubber that makes it a watertight seal and keeps it locked in my understanding is what was happening in the past these were becoming loose and it was ruining the socket so Qualock came out with this new design and I really like it I think it's great so we take the label off of this so now you're left with this piece all right now you got to hold this together because this will come out so this piece interlocks onto this piece however you want to put it on there it doesn't really matter you just want to make sure there's clearance here for the wire to get inside there and then you take the bolt that comes with this adapter it already has loctite on these bolts so you don't have to add any loctite so the bolt goes right through the middle and then you tighten it down whoops nice and snug that's basically your whole assembly right there and then of course you can what's nice about this arm is you can adjust it whichever way you want to and then the top section can also be adjusted so you can you know it gives you more I don't know more adjustment or whatever you want to call it I'm just gonna leave it there for now next thing is the case for the phone and they do sell iPhone cases, they sell Galaxy cases, whatever phone you got, they have a case for it. So you take your old case off the phone, and then you just simply put this case on. So once you got the case on, that's what it looks like. Now this section locks into this. It's a matter of just putting these two together. And that's it it's locked in now once you get this adjusted you're obviously you're going to tighten this up and that's it your phone is in place you got the vibration dampener so if you hit bumps and stuff the vibration dampener will take the bump your phone won't take it you know what i'm saying what was happening is the old style quad locks were direct right to the handlebars or so there was no no dampening system to take the hit the hits so the phone was taking a hit and people were damaging their phones now they take the phone off you simply pull back on the charger and then you just turn your phone out if you want to put it the other way horizontal pull back on the charger and turn it locked in place all right I'm gonna temporarily hook the wire up and I have a port here so we're gonna hook it up right to that port for now so according to the directions steady light means power on if it's blinking there's an error if it's green it's charging if it's green and blinking it says low input power mode which is about one amp if it's steady light blue means you got a full charge if it's blinking light blue means it's overheating the heads overheating now we put the phone on she's charging that is awesome and the light is green can't see it because it's underneath the phone so the only thing that's left for me to do is to figure out how I'm gonna run this wire whether somehow I'm going to run it into this box so I can plug off the Can-Am accessory wire or somehow put a plug here. The only thing I'm not crazy about, if it rains, moisture, water is going to get into that plug. So I'm thinking the best thing I can do is drill a hole inside this compartment and run the wire permanently into here to the column here. But we'll see. And the other thing that I did pick up before I go, I almost forgot, is the iPhone poncho and this thing's pretty 
self-explanatory. If it's raining out, this slides right over the phone. And now, it's pretty much waterproof. So it covers the phone, the front of the phone, goes around and covers around the back case. So water basically cannot get into the case. So that's it. That's your quad lock setup. This setup right here is not cheap, but it's the best setup I can find on the market. And now that they got the power head, it's awesome. I can run my GPS off the phone as long as I want, and my battery isn't going to die on me. It's easy on, easy off. You don't have to mess with anything. No tethers like the, the RAM that I got on the Holly. I'm very happy with that system. Any comments, questions, put them down below. Let me know what you think. And uh, you all, God bless. Ride safe. Bye-bye.